Hi friends, welcome to your gentle practice, which is called your loving awareness in motion. If you are doing the 14 day yoga journey series, welcome to class 10. However, if you're just joining us for this practice, welcome as well. Today's class is going to be a very gentle practice that focuses on releasing the heart chakra and just releasing any tension out of our chest and the heart. We're going to be actually using a strap for this practice, so you can either grab one if you have one. If you don't have a strap at home, you can also just take any sort of belt from your pants or any other rope-like material. This is just to help you get a little bit of uh, resistance to a deep stretch. All right, so once you got your prop ready, once you got your mat rolled out, let's begin. This video is part of our Boho Beautiful program, 14 Days of Free Yoga. You can sign up today for the two-week course consisting of 28 yoga and meditation videos by heading to bohobeautiful.life slash free yoga. There is no catch and no hidden fee. And when you sign up, you will receive our mindfulness journey guidebook plus a new free yoga and guided meditation class delivered each day to your inbox. Go to bohobeautiful.life slash free yoga and begin your journey today. With that said, let's get back to our practice, grab your mat, and let's begin. All right, friends, so we're going to get started today. You can leave your strap just along the front of your mat. We're going to come to the back of the mat, and we're going to start with just a child's pose. And this child's pose... We're going to add a couple different variations to it to help you go a little bit deeper into the side body. So first, just bring your knees together, extend your arms forward. Let us close our eyes and just take a deep breath in. Focusing on bringing lots of oxygen and air into the body, into the lower back. And with your eyes closed, giving yourself the intention to go inward to connect with your heart, to connect with your own internal energy. Now as you stay here and breathe, let's just bring both our arms towards the right side of your mat, so even off your mat if you like, and continuing to take deep breaths, now feeling a deeper stretch through the left side of your body. Just finding this nice connection here. Our practice today is focused on finding gratitude, finding loving awareness through our movement, which also means we're going to be really focusing on opening up and unblocking our heart chakra. For those of you guys that are aware with what a heart chakra is, when we have restriction and blockage in that area of your body, it um, doesn't allow us to forgive and accept a lot of the situations that may come to us. So through this practice today, we're going to practice becoming in tune with ourselves, with our own bodies, with our own breaths, and giving ourselves the permission to forgive and let go of everything that hasn't served us in the past, and to accept the present moment, and the beautiful presence that we have today, which is filled with so many amazing moments experiences all right now just exactly where you are allow your hips to drop to the left right arm comes down and you're just going to reach your left arm towards the right side of your mat so i'm kind of off my child's pose now i'm on my left hip joint or my sit bone just keep reaching reach a little further just make sure both of your shoulders are square towards the front of your mat and then exhale come to center and let's release into child's pose on the left so allowing the hips to slightly come to the right both arms towards the left now you're going deeper into the right side of your body taking an inhale and exhale just letting go becoming in tune with any restriction that you're feeling in your body notice where that restriction is coming from Is the restriction physical or maybe it's mental, emotional? 
Whatever it is, don't judge it. Don't try to resolve it. Just simply become aware of what it is. And as soon as we can find that awareness, then we can start to move forward and healing that restriction and moving past it. So your job today is just to simply become a little more in tune with how you're feeling, how your body is feeling, how your mind is feeling. All right, let's allow the right sit bone to fall all the way down onto the mat. Left hand reaches to the side, right arm reaches up and over. A nice side stretch, breathing deeply into your hip flexors, into your side body, into your intercostal muscles, which are the, the muscles in between your ribs. And as we begin to open up the body, we're actually allowing ourselves to take even deeper breaths, welcoming more oxygen into the body, more oxygen into our heart. Okay, one more inhale. Exhale, come back to center. Reaching both arms up and then coming forward to all fours position. And then sliding your hands all the way to the front of your mat. Your hips are going to stay right directly over top of your knees. And then you're just going to come into puppy pose. Allow the heart to drop down. And this is a really nice deep opening stretch for the chest, for the heart, of course, for the shoulders, for the upper back. So feel free to find what feels right for you, whatever variation it is. Maybe you have to be a little higher, that's totally fine. But just simply start to feel your body relaxing and letting go a little bit deeper into this posture. Inhale and exhale good just let it go inhale keep your eyes closed exhale go deep let it go let go of the past let go of the situations that you no longer have control over and welcome presence Welcome peace. Welcome the idea that you can only control this moment right now. And in this moment, choose to be happy, to be peaceful, to be content with exactly where you are right now. One more inhale. Exhale. Let's come on up. Very nice. Slowly from here, just walk your hands back, tuck your toes. Let's just do a quick little downward dog. We're not going to do too many of these today. It's more of a gentle class, but go ahead and just stretch out your legs a little bit. Again, if you're feeling extra tight in the hamstrings, you can just kind of keep the knees bent as so. Just go whatever feels right for you today. Take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, let's walk your feet over to the front of your mat. This is where you're going to grab that strap. Grab your strap and just open it so you can kind of hold it right along the middle, maybe about shoulder width apart. You can go a little wider if you need to, all right? Now, a great thing you can do in a forward fold is actually place the strap underneath your feet like so, and then you can hold on to the strap and give yourself a little bit more support to go deeper. So feel free to do that here if you need to. Just take a deep breath in. Exhale, allow the chest to come a little bit closer towards the legs. Inhale, extend your elbows, look up. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale, come on up. Exhale, now you're just going to release the strap underneath your toes. If they're there, bend your knees and begin to roll yourself up for three, two, one. Inhale, arms up, reach up. As you exhale, just allow the arms to drop back, really feeling that opening in the shoulders. You can have a slight bend in the elbows and just open up that heart up towards the sky. Feel this deep release through the chest, through your pecs. Inhale, look up, reach up. Exhale one more time. Just a little bend. You don't have to go too far down. Just a slight bend so you're starting to really feel that opening. You can bring your hips forward so you can open that chest, open that heart, open up that upper back. Beautiful. From here, coming back to neutral position, 
bend your knees and just step your right leg all the way back, dropping your right knee to the floor. Coming into a low lunge position, you can keep your toes tucked under. From here, you're going to open up. Inhale. Bend your elbows as you bring yourself forward. And then exhale, just extend and look up. So a little bit of a movement with the hips and the arms. Inhale, come forward so you're feeling a deeper stretch in your hip flexor. Exhale, extend the arms. Bring yourself back to a neutral straight position. Two more. Inhale. Exhale, center. Inhale, bend those elbows. Really feel that stretch. If you're not feeling a stretch, bring your hands a little closer together. You should really feel an opening here. Now exhale, just bring yourself to a comfortable position. You don't have to go too far forward. And let's begin to open up the arms and open up the chest. Just look up. Really taking this vulnerable surrender type of position with our upper body, opening our heart. Opening yourself to what is, to what's to come, to what has arrived. Take a deep breath in again. Exhale, bring those arms down. See if you can lift your knee and just step right to the front of your mat. Place the strap underneath your feet, right in the middle. Inhale, extend and look up. Exhale, forward fold as you release. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, release. Good, just get that chest a little closer to your thighs. Release the strap from your feet. Bend your knees, extend your elbows, start to roll up for three, two, one. From here, arms up, reach up. Exhale, bend those elbows slightly, maybe half to what you're used to. Open the chest and just take a gentle back bend here. Open up. If you spend a lot of time seated in front of a computer or just at a desk job, this should feel so good for your shoulders, for your upper body because we're not used to opening in this direction. So this brings so much benefit to your body. So you can go a little bit deeper. Exhale, bring it back to center. Bend your knees, step your left leg back, drop your left knee to the floor. Now from here, we're just going to come forward into a deeper low lunge as you bend your elbows a little bit more this time. So bring the strap behind your head. Exhale, open. Lift your arms so you're just extending the elbows and you look up. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, lift for two. So we're adding hip stretch and a deep chest and shoulder stretch for three. One more. Exhale, just come up about halfway. Lift and extend your elbows and just look up. Feel this deep stretch through the hip flexor, through the upper body. Working a little bit on keeping your balance exactly where it is. So finding that stability. Just breathe. Really open up your lungs. Welcome as much oxygen into your body as you can. If you've been doing the Yoga Journey series, this might feel really good for your body after so many yoga classes day after day. It's a really nice way to rejuvenate and just relax and stretch out the body. One more inhale. Exhale, come back to neutral. You're just going to lift that back knee, step right to the front of your mat. Bring your strap underneath your feet one more time. Drop your head, inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, bend your elbows, bring your body closer to your legs. Now notice if you're able to go a little deeper as the muscles are letting go. Inhale, look up. Exhale, bend your elbows, bring your body closer towards your legs. Great. Just breathe in. Exhale, drop the strap. You're actually just going to place it down on the ground, hands down, bend your knees, come on over into plank position, and then drop your knees down and come into a seated position on your mat. So one more stretch we're going to do is going to be really nice for your triceps. You can fold the strap in half if you like. You're going to take it with your, let's start with the left left arm up and then just going to bring the straps behind your back like so so i'll just show you guys i'll turn my back to you then you're going to bend that top elbow take your other arm bring it behind 
Grab the straps and now begin to walk with your fingers until you found a good spot. You're holding onto the strap and you're simply pulling the strap down with that bottom hand. All right, so stay here. Pull it down. Now that other elbow, the left elbow, is pointed up to the sky. Close your eyes and just breathe. Really feel this deep release through that tricep area. Make sure you're not coming forward with your body. You're nice and straight. Your spine is erect. Just keep pulling. Keep pulling as much as you can. Make sure that that left elbow is right next to the side of your head. Point it upward towards the sky. Nice. Just open up through the chest again. Just breathe. If you've been doing a lot of upper body strength, you've been doing a lot of chaturangas in the last week, so this should feel really good for the triceps. Wonderful. All right, let's release, and we're just going to switch to the other side. So same thing, just switch hands, so right arm up. Bring the strap behind you, bend your top elbow. Other arm, free arm, comes behind your back. Grab the straps, and then begin to walk just gently upward until you got a good grip. So the strap is held by both hands, and then pull with your bottom hand downward, keeping that right elbow up so you're feeling that tricep release on the opposite side now. Staying straight. Close your eyes. Just breathe. Find a stillness inside of you. When the world is in chaos around us, there's so much happening in the external world. Sometimes the simple thing of just closing our eyes and taking a breath allows us to bring ourselves into stillness. It calms the mind, calms the body, it calms the nervous system, and allows us to find a presence and awareness even even when everything around us is difficult or challenging to maneuver through. So if you ever find yourself in a situation like that, just come back to the feeling that you're feeling right now, this breath, this stillness, this awareness, this peacefulness. Keep pulling that strap a little more, really feel that stretch. Deep breath in. And exhale, let it go. Awesome job, you guys. All right. From here, just come on down onto your mat. And what we're going to do is relax the body all the way down onto the floor. Relax your head. And just a quick little release of the legs. Extend your legs. And what you can do is take the strap, place it over your feet like this, and you can just hold it there. This is something you can do in your spare time. You can do this after work or whenever you just had a stressful day. Just lift your feet. You can even rest them against the wall if you need to. Let's take another deep breath in. Try to make sure that the knees are straight so you're really feeling a deep stretch here. And as you exhale, we're just going to let go of the legs and release it all the way down over into our Shavasana. You can rest your strap on top of you or just to the side. You don't need it anymore. Just close off our practice couple of deep breaths, feeling this relaxation through your body, the release of any tension, any compression, any resistance that you've felt and that you've been holding on to. Just feel it letting go and releasing out of your body. Taking a deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. Shavasana is usually one of the most difficult postures in a yoga practice because the mind wants to move forward, wants to finish, it wants to move on to the next, next task. So training ourselves to find stillness in spite of what our monkey mind wants to do is one of the most incredible things we can practice on a day-to-day basis. 
So find the stillness. Relax. And if your time allows for you today, then stay here longer. However, if you need to come out, go ahead and just welcome some movement into your feet, into your hands. And then bring your knees together, rolling over to one side. Coming up to a seated position on your mat. Great, just find yourself seated. Take a deep breath in. Place your hands on your heart. Just reconnect with that energy one last time. And then bow down to your own heart. And thank yourself for your beautiful practice today, for being gentle, being kind to yourself, for doing something that feels good for your body. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I look forward to seeing you again. Namaste. If you enjoyed this class and are looking to take your practice up a notch, when you sign up for our Boho Beautiful 14 Days of Free Yoga, you will receive a coupon where you can choose to experience this complete yoga and meditation program on Boho Beautiful Official, free for the entire two weeks. There, all of the videos are uninterrupted and ad-free, completely downloadable with a custom calendar and daily journal. Plus, you get access to our entire catalog of exclusive classes and content, all with absolutely no risk or cost to you. Go to bohobeautiful.life slash free yoga and start your journey today.